Hayo Minasan, welcome back to Free Week on the channel. Obviously, Free Uotobi Swim Club just came out last week. As such, we're totally supporting Free all over by uh, showing an entire week of just free videos. At least once a day, you guys are getting free content and not, not, not in the way that it is actually free, although it is free, but the show free. As you guys can see here, we've got a lot laid out. As you guys saw yesterday, we unboxed this. This is the English uh, limited edition box set for free Iwatobi Swim Club. These six here are the Japanese DVD sets for free Iwatobi Swim Club. Each one contains two episodes. Uh, and yes, I own this. I actually own this. And quite honestly, I do like how the uh, Japanese version uh, did the lovely water effects for each uh, episode. As you can see, the, the English version tried to, like, also do water effects. But, I feel the Japanese version is a little bit more successful. I like how the English version is done, but the Japanese version looks so much better. Also, what, why was this effect not actually copied on this? It's like a different water pattern, and I don't know why it shouldn't just be this, because this is gorgeous. This is fun. Uh, as you guys can see, they're all gorgeous little different water effects for each one. Each disc set focuses on one character with all of them being on the final one. It's really cool. It makes you really feel like, yeah, it's an inclusion, one character per box. Anyway, let's, let's actually bring out what you get uh, in the Japanese set. We'll talk about the English set later because this is more a comparison. Obviously, there's your water. There's more water if you really wanted to just make him go and be in the ocean. You could also do this. The Japanese box sets also do do a water-like effect if you guys, yeah, you guys can see it reflecting off a little. It's mainly on the bodies. Uh, it's meant to, like, show when you take that off that, hey, Haru just came out of the water, guys. As you can see, the little free moniker logo thing is right down there, barely noticeable. This is one of the major differences between the two. Let me take out the extras from this so that I can discuss that with you guys later in a second. If I can. Boom! That's right, guys. It's an entire... It, the entire DVD uh, box is actually the art. It's awesome. I enjoy that. Obviously, it's just one disc. It's pathetically looking. So, uh, disc-wise, in the design category, yes, the discs are better designed. But I do prefer all the covers on this because it's, it's multiple art. And as you can see, you get a little special postcard. This one has Mako. Mako Nagisa, as well as this. Although you got to see a little bit of this art when you opened some of the DVD sets in the English version. So you get that. Obviously, this was on the front of it. I just kept that for purposes. And then you get, like, the special little book, which is just a bunch of little facts about the about the two episodes involved with a bit of Q&A, a bit of extra knowledge. It's, it's just a little tiny extra thing that you, you enjoy. All right. And then also this, this, this. For anybody who doesn't know, this is, this is like my favorite thing. This is my favorite thing. Aren't they adorable? Baby adult. Baby adult. It's so pretty. I, I do enjoy these. These are supposed to be like little postcards. I, I would never use them as postcards, but that's what they're supposed to be. So that's what you get with volume one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that off to the side. Now, let's look at volume two. Yeah, there, this is going to be a lot. Water, water. I'm trying to make it so that you can like see all of it reflected off. I think you guys have seen it. It's really pretty. I do love this effect. I feel it's better done on the Japanese version. Again, the disc is pathetically designed. <laughs> Quite honestly, I, I, I will admit the disc is very pathetically designed. Let's put that down. You get the ray view. So this is actually on the cover of one of the, uh, I think it's the, the DVD set. And then obviously Rin on the back. Rin being a boss from the ending on the back. It's gorgeous. Looks like somebody wants my attention. This is the postcards for this volume, which is your couplings. The 
there was those two, and then obviously you get another little bit, little book with more information on the two episodes that are included in this set, as well as more character designs. I do enjoy this. Get that over there. Put this over here. And let's move into volume three. It's basically going to be a lot of the same things, guys. Water effect. But I do, I do, I'm, I'm doing this to show you guys the differences. I, I love it. Again, disc design. But look at that. Oh, the water effect. I, I do adore it. It's adorable. Brother and sister, as well as... <laughs> Tan lines! Tan lines, everybody! Put that there. This one has Makoto on the front. Has Makoto as the character art. Cute little book. And there's the Ray and Rin, which is on the cover of one of uh, the English one. And then also more desert art. I adore the desert art. And obviously, I just have extra little paper. Let's get into volume four. Water effect, water effect. Like, by the end of this, you're going to be sick and tired of water effects. Put this off to the side for now. Try to reflect. There you go. See, look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. Here's your two little postcards. Rei and Haru and Nitori and Rin. Adorable little postcards. Mako and Haru, Arabian. Rin Haru! Oh, Rin Haru! This is the cover of the DVD set. And then another little book, this time focusing on Nagisa. I don't know why the Nagisa one wasn't in Volume 3, but, uh... I don't know, you're not focusing on the character that you're supposed to. Water effects. Whee! Oh, I love the reflective surfaces. More Rin and Mako. And then Rin Haru! Not Rin Mako! Haru Mako! I am being stupid at the moment. I apologize. Then, obviously, we've got the Mako Haru uh, cover that's on the Blu-ray set, as well as more Arabian AU! Look at that! Nikisa's a dancer. And then, obviously, a little booklet with Ray this time as the center focus. And now we are on the final one for the Japanese set. Water effect. side for the team I love it you'll watch the series and you'll realize why that is so important that's all their little animal markers and these are the postcards for this one you have Rin, as he's in Australia, and then you got the group shot at the end. Oh, I love it! It's so adorable. Group Arabian picture. Flip side, Mako Rin, the rarest of the pairings. And then obviously you've got Haru and Lil Rin on the special book for it. I adore this one. This one, I love this art. Because it's adorable. It's a bunch of, uh, this is the opening, ending. And there you go. That's all the Japanese uh, box sets. And then this is your English. Uh, I showed you guys, I did the unboxing yesterday of the English one so you guys know what's in it. Um, in comparison, the English one is very much more compact. 
The English one is also a DVD and a Blu-ray, while mine is in the Japanese is only DVD. But in terms of quality, as in packaging quality, I do have to give it to the Japanese version um, because the Japanese version does feel like it is just a higher quality. It feels like it's a better print job. It feels like the water effects are done better. And it, it just looks like a bunch of uh, free related. While well, this, while well, yes, I see the free, doesn't fe have the same feeling, like the water effect here. I don't, I don't quite honestly get what they were going for. Well, if you look at the Japanese one, the water effect is like very clear what it's going for on each of the box sets. The water is meant to look like it's a splash, like it's cascading down their bodies like they just got out of the water. Which is why you can see water reflecting where he's kicking and then obviously this one makes the for the team. But it's, it's how the water effect is done. I think the Japanese version has a lot more of an idea on what they artistically wanted to do with it. And I feel like that came across a lot better than the English version where I don't quite honestly get where the, why the water effect looks the way it does. The one on the back definitely makes a lot more sense and I do enjoy it. And they've got the four team written on the back. But on this one it, made, it looked a lot better, on this one it doesn't. I feel like I, I wanted it to like just splash across. Splash across the cover. But, overall I feel that these are better designed. These come with, a, the Japanese versions come with a lot more than this one, and I, I do feel that that is definitely a criticism. Uh, Funimation didn't release a collector's edition for Iwatobi Swim Club like they did Eternal Summer, which is something I was very much disappointed about. Hold on, I'm going to move that above so that you guys aren't seeing just a blank piece of white paper there. Uh, there was no collector's edition, so there was no little art book like there was with uh, Season 2, which is what I really, I did enjoy that art book. That art book is gorgeous. And there's just so much content that's in the Japanese versions that you don't get with the English version. I feel Funimation could have definitely sold their limited edition as a bit more than what they gave us. I feel that it, it definitely could have been more. I feel the Jap disc wise, you did good Funimation. You're a bit, you're a lot more compact than the Japanese. You put a lot more uh, thought into the design of it. Otherwise, you didn't think too much of anything beyond. Uh, making this feel like it was just a normal DVD Blu-ray box set. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's a limited edition. It feels like it's just a normal box set. Like the One Punch Man, that feels like it's a limited edition. I'm getting a little book, I'm getting a DVD and a Blu-ray of all the episodes. This doesn't feel like that. I feel like uh, Funimation, you gotta think a little bit more about adding a bit to what you're going to consider a limited edition because now you've got competition. Now you've got people who also are releasing these limited editions and are really thinking about what extras can we put in there. I feel like you'll sell a lot more if you do that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for dealing with my lovely unboxing and showcasing my collection of free. As you guys can tell, I'm a, I'm a bit addicted. But tomorrow we are actually going to be showing off high speed. Uh, the high speed books, to be precise, is what we're talking about tomorrow. Um, and then on Thursday we are going to be talking high speed free starting days which is high speed the movie uh, which is the prequel movie that uh, came out in 2015 after eternal summer and it's awesome it's wonderful and we're going to discuss it it's going to be fun and enjoyable and I hope you guys all enjoy it anyway thank you so much for supporting free week and thank you all for supporting the channel and I will catch you all on the flip side bye everyone